Hello, everybody. This is uh, Magic Peter Kozlowski. Welcome to the live art show. Uh, thanks for coming. Uh, so today uh, I have uh, 12 uh, original paintings for you from the, uh, the Reds uh, collection. And uh, before, we get, uh, before we get into those, um, is there, um, do we have, uh, do we have any uh, viewers on? And uh, if so, uh, whereabouts are you from? So uh, just uh, let us know where you're from and um, uh, put that in the, uh, in the comments. And uh, we'll uh, just wait a moment until uh, everybody comes on and then we'll get started. So yeah, we've got people coming on. Uh, I have uh, my, uh, um my wonderful monica running the technology and um we'll get started so morning do we have anybody on nathan how are you i uh, saw the kitchener has summer we have winter thanks for uh, joining us okay so here we go um Oh yes, yeah. so all these pieces, all the originals are available for sale. And um, we'll run the uh, webpage address on the, the ticker uh, below so that you can uh, go to the webpage and uh, purchase any of the pieces that you would like. It's uh, first come, first serve for the originals. And today um, there's a sale going on. So today these, are, these guys are 25% off. And they're, um, uh, they're, yeah, the sale is till midnight on Friday. Yeah, so there's, uh, there's the code uh, to, to use on the website if uh, you uh, find anything that you would like to, uh, to purchase. Kelly, hello, Kelly. Thanks for, uh, thanks for joining us. I love the pictures of your garden with great jealousy because we don't have summer here we have winter here but you lived here so you know what that's like okay so grab uh grab a beverage and uh there's 12 pieces so we'll get started and uh, enjoy so the first piece is called the the purse it's this guy up here and um it's uh, it's one of those um purses the old-fashioned kind that you kind of open up in the middle usually there were leather purses with like a hinge in the middle that would open up and you'd close it and there'd be like like a medical bag so uh, let me uh get you a closer look here these guys so this is a acrylic uh monoprint on mylar so this was done in one one application of, of paint, sort of like a stamp. And you can see, so, you know, this this up here is the the opening of the, the purse. And then you have uh, the, uh, the rest of it. Um, and it's a little bit kind of on the side. And there's, uh, you know, I like the colors, I like the, uh, the red, the green, and yellow. You're going to see that theme because this is mostly exploring uh, things in the color red. So all these guys come framed, just as you see them, and they're uh, they're matted. Uh, so yeah, this is uh, this is called uh, the purse. So uh, a clamshell. Oh, I see. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. So we'll go to the next one, Moni. Yeah, we'll switch the camera, please. Okay. So the next one up is so this is this is the purse. And the next one up is called the waterfall. 
So this is typical, typical of most, this guy's typical of most waterfalls, as you would imagine. But um, both, you know, Kelly, you would uh, remember the falls at Packingham. So this is kind of reminds me a little bit of that. So let's uh, let's have a closer look at those. So again, this is uh, all one mono print. So the, the water level is kind of here. So this is the the waterfall part, and that's kind of upstream uh, the river and, and the forest. So it's a full abstraction of what that kind of uh, waterfall would look like. And this this reminds me of the waterfalls in uh, uh, in Packingham, but it could be you know could be other ones that you may you may know. Um, again, this so this one's on paper, not on mylar. So it's acrylic on paper. So it's a little bit uh, um, a little bit more wavy, in the, and as the uh, paint is absorbed by the uh, uh, by the paper, and it's matted, and again, it's uh, you know it's in a uh, in a black uh, uh, black frame. Where 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 where? Kelly, where are the opposite monsters? Oh, I see. This is one right here, right? And this is the other guy right here? Yeah, this one's a happy yellow one. This one here is a little bit more uh, sinister. But right you are. Very good. Black monster and yellow monster. Got him. Yeah, you're absolutely right, Kel. Um, what I like about the abstracts a lot is uh, that you can uh, find stuff in there that I can't. And, you know, it makes uh, perfect sense once you point it out. Okay. <laughs> okay, or maybe the monsters are loose. Okay, let's roll to switch to the next one. Okay. What's this one called? Oh, thank you. So, yeah. So we have a very sophisticated system here. What we do is we match the numbers that are on the, the web page with the numbers that we're showing. Uh, there is a very uh, um, problematic element to that system. That is the human error, i.e. me, um, in terms of... Uh, switching them at the right time. So yes, here we are, we're caught up, we're on number three. Okay, you can still, yeah, you can see that. Okay, so this guy here is, uh, is, a, is abstract in red, yellow, and green. So um, let's, have a, let's have a closer look at it and see if we can find something in here that, that I haven't seen. So what I liked about this is just, the way the shape is, and just the subtle flow of all the paint one into the other. So when I do these, it's it's like you know it's a it's a stamp kind of mono print kind of approach. So um, it's all or nothing. You get one shot at this, and you know this one. Uh, yeah, it was just, just that I just like the shape. Sometimes the shape comes out that I really don't like it and uh, they get rejected. But this guy here is, uh, I really like the shape. So I don't know if you guys are seeing anything in there. Uh, any uh, any monsters in the, in this one? 
Anything in the comments? Two horses. Two horses. Okay. One green one, one white one. Yeah, I could, uh, yeah, okay. All right. And this is on, on Mylar, so it's the paint's a little bit thicker. It doesn't absorb in, in the paper as much. And again, it's it's framed and matted and uh, yeah, ready to go. Okay. So next one, Moni. Okay, I'm gonna be uh, ahead of the game here and switch to uh, switch to number four. Ah, this next one is uh, actually this is this is one of my favorites. So this one here is called uh, Shaggy Dog. So if you ever had the pleasure of uh, uh, living with a shaggy dog, you know that they're big and furry and a little smelly and a little farty and, you know, they're just kind of big bundles of goofy joy. So let me get you a closer look at this, this shaggy dog right here. Okay. Yeah, well, he wouldn't, yeah, he wouldn't know. So let's get a closer look at this one. So, yeah, we're working with the reflection. So you can see, you know, in in the red. So there's the uh, the big the the, uh, the the mouth. There's the eye, and you know, this is the rest of the the dog. There's the dog farting. And this one is kind of in that lovely pose that dogs do at a certain point in their um, in their business where they lift their back paws and throw all sorts of debris up behind them. Now, I won't go into the details of why they do that, but I think you can imagine what these guys do and why they do it. So this is this is it. This is a shaggy, shaggy dog. You can see the little eyeball there. He's like kind of looking up at you, going, "Okay, well, this is fun." And uh, yeah, it's just a big, big furry bundle of joy. So yeah, this is uh, I like this guy. He's he's uh, he's fun. Okay, what's next? Okay, oh, we're switching to five. Thank you. Human error, always a problem, right? Okay, we're number five. Which one's number five? Oh, my thoughts and profile, okay. So this is, uh, this is a combination of, uh, um, yeah, it's a combination of little profiles that kind of came out and I really liked, liked how it, uh, came together as, as a whole. Uh, so yeah, let me get you a closer look at it. So there's the, uh, there's the profile in the white. You can kind of see the mouth and the, the nose. And then if I zoom out a little bit, there's uh, some other stuff happening here that is uh, in the uh, animal kingdom or the human kingdom or a little bit of both. And then it's kind of all tied together, like you know those, some of those um, relief sculptures that you'd see in uh, in European uh, buildings. So it's got a little bit of that feel to it, but with an abstraction. And if I, you know, if I look in the middle, I don't know if I can, if you can see that, but there's a there's a face and a mouth kind of right in the middle as well. So there's there's different profiles and you know kind of different things happening. Rock climbing dancer, Aztec war mask. I like those. Okay, maybe we'll change the title a little bit. So this is this is mylar, acrylic monoprint on mylar. Uh, again, yeah, it's uh, comes framed. 
Yeah, so this one's uh, I like the uh, I like both of those. Yeah, those are uh, kind of neat suggestions. Okay, Moni. So we're gonna we're gonna switch the number, right? Are we coordinated on the numbers? Human error has been uh, has been eliminated for a moment. Okay, so this one here, this is called uh, uh, Got a Light. So this is from a culture that uh, probably is uh, is not here there very much. In the days when uh, uh, when everybody smoked, there was a whole ritual that went on when you were taking the cigarette out of the pack, putting it in your mouth, and looking for a light. Now, sometimes you had a light in your pocket, but sometimes you wanted to engage with somebody else. And it was really a ritual, a very close one, that you could engage with, and you would ask if, you know, if somebody had a light for your, for your cigarette. And when, when you did, you'd have to kind of breathe on, you know, on the cigarette, so you'd have to hold it close to the light. So you were very close with the other person. It was a little bit of an intimate moment. You know, something, uh, I guess, that, uh, you know, uh, pre-COVID and pre-whole bunch of other things. But that was the, uh, that was a, you know, a very, very important uh, ritual. So let me, let me show you that one, uh, show me that one up close. So you'll see what, uh, what I mean here. So here's the, so on the right, over here so there's a there's a head with a cigarette sticking out and on the left there's a bit more kind of a, a profile a little bit from the back and so the important part here is that th these people are close together and they're kind of looking at each other and and looking at the cigarette Ah, for the, the one, the previous one? Yeah, probably. Okay. So this guy here, so you have the guy, the fellow on the right, trying to light the cigarette with the person on the left. Just they're looking, kind of looking from the, from the, the back with a little bit of profile. And, you know, they're sharing that intimate moment when they get one person lights the other person's cigarette so it's uh yeah it's a it's a cult classic i guess by today's standards right so the other part here there's a couple more figures and abstractions kind of to indicate that this is a kind of ritual that would happen in a you know in a crowd or on the street or in a restaurant in a bar you know where wherever there were people you know remember people pre-covid yeah and smoking, of course. So this is kind of a interesting, uh, interesting little piece. Okay, Moni. Okay, number seven. Are we on number seven? What's number seven? Ah, the diva. Okay. So the diva is about a uh, a lady that you would see, a lady of a certain age that is extremely well dressed, but in a very theatrical manner. And you would see, you know, uh, a lady like this at uh, fundraisers or you know, uh, theater or the opera or some you know, high society uh, events. And there's uh, particular characteristics that these ladies would have. And, you know, this is again from, uh, from a certain time. So let me, let me show you. Uh... Okay, well, let me get you a closer look. So let's see if, uh, if Kel's kind of on board with this. So what I have here 
and so these are these are the red lips right and you know there's uh very uh, uh liberal application of uh of lipstick this here is the uh you know the 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 boa that they would wear kind of around the collar what's oh jeez okay uh, uh, okay and you know of course on the top there is all sorts of hats and with various frilly frilly things and uh makeup and all that sort of thing so i'm gonna go with the diva and not the uh is that kelly's comment cross-dressing sin yeah okay you know i'm 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 a little bit old school here cal so we're gonna we're gonna try to keep it uh keep it at the diva and keep the santas out of it for now but anyway this was uh this was just a lot of fun you know and if you ever saw kelly you must remember these these ladies from certain events and places that you've you've been to um you know usually there's uh a cloud of perfume that is uh, around them as well, but maybe not these days anymore. I guess you don't do that th these days. So this is, uh, yeah, this is uh, the diva, only number seven, not number six. Yeah, I just move the, uh, okay, switch me up. So just, yeah, just, uh, there's a little bar there that you move up. There you go. Okay. So now we're on number eight. Yeah, just uh, move the bar up or scroll up to, uh, to the next one. There's a whole bunch of them in there. You got it? Okay, so that was the diva. Oh, Elizabeth Lance. Hello, Elizabeth Lance. How are you? Nice to see you. Very nice to see you. Yeah. Oh, do you know Elizabeth? Okay. So the next one. Valenza? Yeah, I'm sure. Yeah, that would have been, yeah, that would have been one of those occasions. Yeah. This one here is um, this one here requires a little bit of a backstory. So, in uh, 2018, uh, Monica and I went to uh, we left our uh, uh, our bubble, we left our force field, and we went to Europe. We went to Europe for uh, Kelly and Nathan's uh, wedding to Spain, and uh, it was uh, it was a very very nice trip. And one of the things that uh, they have in Spain is uh, is bullfights. Uh, so I'm not into bullfights at all, or any sort of you know animal cruelty in in any sort of shape or form. I'm actually quite a I'm a big suck as far as uh, animals go. But one of the things that uh, we were able to kind of pull out of this one is it's a bit of a um, whimsical scenario where a bull is um, having a good time with a duck. So let me have a closer look. Okay. So there's the big bull big black creature and it's usually with a comes with a array of uh, sand and dust and so forth so that's that's kind of what you know this this here represents and it's galloping but it's sort of starting to it's stopping like you know running quickly but stopping and that's because it is being led by this guy right here so there's a little duck right there that's leading this giant bull in the bull ring. 
So this is just, just a fun piece with lots and lots of stuff going on and lots of, you know, dust and uh, sand moving up and down. And all it is is in the joy of this duck up here that's leading this giant bull across. Dalmatian head above the duck. Okay, let's go find it. This guy right here. Okay. So that's the beauty of these guys. You can see all sorts of things in here. So there's the, the legs of the bull. There's all the dust and commotion. And there's the, the full, uh, full composition. So that's a fun, fun, fun piece. Okay. Next one. So the next one here. is so this is so this is a recent piece so as as you guys know uh we live near the the ottawa river near the deshane rapids and in the winter time we can look out across through the through the trees and across the uh um the uh, parkway through the river and onto the Duchesne Rapids. And what we've been seeing lately is we've been seeing these really amazing, amazing uh, uh, red sunsets. So this is about that, those red sunsets and a bit of green clouds. So here, let me get you a closer look at it. Okay, yeah, okay, okay. You wanna switch me up? So there's the wide view, the bottom part representing the uh, the, the the Ottawa River in the water, and of course you know the sunset with the uh, uh, the green clouds, and as Kelly says, the camels. I got to find the camels now. Okay, Kelly, where are the camels? Okay, so so this one here is actually uh, so the mono print is the, the middle part, and the rest is so a couple other techniques that that I've been using, uh, and again it's acrylic on uh, on mylar, uh, but there's sort of a stamp stamp technique. What's that? Three red camels, okay. What are they doing walking across the, uh, the Shane Rapids? Green pyramids, okay. That's what I love about abstracts. All sorts of different things. Yeah, and this one actually is uh, really, really, uh, really new. I think I did this, uh, Couple a uh, couple weeks ago. Okay, so that's number nine. Yeah. So let's switch to number ten. So this guy here. How are we gonna? <laughs> You're gonna have probably some reflection issues. Yeah, a little bit, right? So this guy just came back from uh, a gallery uh, in Westboro. I just literally brought him back like an hour ago. Uh, so he's been uh, he's been living out there. It's part of this this series, the red the red one series, and it's simply called uh, Hip. 
and uh, it, it's really uh, an abstraction of uh, you know uh, essentially hipsters that you would uh, you would see around town. So let me get you a closer look. Yeah, so. There's the, uh, you know, person sort of the, the posture is really what I was, yeah, there's a reflection, I know, yeah. Okay, let me see if I can do something about that. There we go. Is that better? Yeah, so this is really uh, an abstraction of the posture. So you'd see somebody sitting like this, uh, you know, in many places around town. But essentially, they're, you know, uh, it's a little bit bored. Um, looking around seeing what's going on and uh, just kind of hanging out yeah uh, but the main thing is you know they they got to look hip right so um yeah that's why i called it hip anyway it's a fun little piece kelly what are you seeing in this one the bandit okay because of the uh the um the covering over the over the eyes Okay, well, it takes time. That's okay. Yeah, so this is a little bit bigger than the, than the other ones. And this is uh, this is Mylar, acrylic on Mylar, monoprint. There's a lot of uh... ah, okay. Kelly says he's tiptoeing with his pilfered treasure. Ha, yeah, okay. There you go. Okay. Now I'm back to that reflection. Okay, next one. Number 11. Which one is that? Ah, the whale. Yes. So I'm going to have uh, reflection problems here for sure. You guys see that okay? Not really, eh? So when I started doing these larger, first I started, I did some of the small ones that you saw before, like Shaggy Dog and the Diva and some of those guys. Um, one of the things that kind of came out was these, these large representations and to me, they were they were whales, um, and I did a little bit of research about singing whales and how they they actually sing all together, and they each all have their different songs, and it's uh, you know um, just beautiful, beautiful thing to uh, to hear in the ocean. Um, I don't know if uh, Nathan uh, has ever encountered those, and when uh, he was diving, but. Uh, that's that's kind of where where these guys were going. So let me get you a closer look. Hopefully, without the uh, uh, without the uh, yeah. So here we go. So to me, this is the the eye and the kind of the mouth. Okay. Okay. What's that again? Towing in an airstream, yeah. Behind a boat. Millennial vacation. Okay, I'll have to. Uh... <laughs> okay. Scared Kelly and Bon Bon Air as Pod went behind her. Cool. Okay. Yeah. So there's different interpretations. Uh, you know. For, for me, I guess where it comes from is my, you know, encounter with whales is one time way back, I must have been, I don't know, seven years old. Um, my dad took me to this tent and they had, uh, you know, a whale on display there. And uh, it's just huge, huge, huge. And I remember the, uh, you know, the mouth and the shape and, and uh, it was a little smelly too. But uh, yeah. Uh, I, you know, I think whales are just 
just magnificent, magnificent creatures. I don't know if they're towing airstreams, but maybe, you know, maybe they are. So that's, yeah, so that's my, you know, my abstractions of the, my abstraction of a whale. Okay. So number 12, last one. Okay. So this one, this is called Birdman. Okay, so there's a couple of things going on in here, but essentially it's the posture of, you know, um, somebody that is uh, very kind of erect and, and, and proper um, and kind of stuffed a little bit, you know? So that way, uh, to me, um, it kind of resembled uh, a bird person, a bird man or a woman for that matter. But there's a couple of other things going on here that I, that I saw later on. Let's have a closer look. Okay, so again, that reflection. So there's there's the, you know, the face, the nose with the uh, the big chin and kind of the you know the eyes up here, and then you know, what's interesting down here is you move down here. If you just look at this. What do you guys see here? He's cold. Yeah, he's cold. Yeah, he's shivering and he's cold. Okay, back to the bandit. All right. But th this here, uh, I kind of caught that a little bit and I had fun with this one. Thoughts, ideas, what this looks like? Get that reflection out of there for you. And there's, you know, there's other stuff going on in here. So it's just, uh, that's a cool little abstract piece. This is, uh, again, monoprint. So one stamp, that's it. On paper, uh, matted, framed. Okay. Okay. So that's the 12 that uh, I have from the Reds collection. Uh, there's a link on the web page that you can have a closer look at all of these guys. Um, as I said, if any of these are in, if of interest to you, they're, uh, they're available off the website. They're original, so there's only you know, one each. Um, and I'm running a 25% you know, off sale till, uh, uh, till Friday. So if you're, if you're interested, by all means, grab them. Uh, free shipping, of course, uh, in uh, uh, the U.S. and Canada. And uh, uh, if you like them on some other shape or size, uh, there's there are prints available as well from these guys. Uh, they're a little bit further down that on that web page. Uh, so before I thank you for joining us, I'm just going to do a sneak peek here. Let's see if I can do this. Um, Sneak peek at what's coming up next. Oni, can you switch me to the uh, cell phone? Thank you. Yeah, so very quickly, the next show coming up, and I'm going to do a lot of these because it's you know everything's closed here. So this is uh, this is uh, from a new series that uh, that's coming up. It's from the pandemic series. This guy is called uh, uh, Howling at the COVID Moon. And before I let you go, there's a little sneak peek at this big, big uh, um, landscape that's just uh, just drying over here. Okay, I want you to switch me back. So thank you very much for, for attending. Um, thanks for the comments, appreciate that, that was fun. I hope you guys enjoyed it as well, and uh, uh, stay tuned uh, as we get better at this. We'll, uh, you know, we'll send notifications, and uh, we've got uh, another uh, twelve or so coming up with the pandemic series, and there's like three or four other 
uh, collections that uh, are I want to show you that I've been working on over uh, over the the last uh, six months or so. Okay. Any other comments? Anybody else? Ah, Kelly says reminiscent of egg in frying pan. Yes, yes, we're we're going back to a little bit of that. Okay. Thank you very much for joining us. Uh, we'll see you next time. Have a good evening.